My father has a very distinct laugh. He's funny and he's super humble. He's the one that kind of got me into sports. He loves soccer and he's very active and that's why I'm so involved in sports. My father definitely was one of the most hardworking people I've ever met. He would just work and come home and eat and sleep and then go back to work in the morning. And that's pretty much all he did, except for Sundays when he would go play soccer. We knew that there was some immigration issues and he had overstayed his visa. He was trying to get it worked out. He's like, well, my family's here. Can I apply for citizenship? And he was supposed to go back to Mexico for a while and he didn't. And so then they said, we're gonna give you a 10 year penalty until you can reapply for citizenship. I was 11 and my older sister was 12. My youngest was nine and I had a little baby sister of four. I wouldn't know how to express how torn we all felt as a family. And I, as a little girl, saw the pain that my family was in, especially my mother. She doesn't know much English. She ended up finding a cooking job and she worked insane hours. After she came from work, she was crying, and I would tell her that it'd be okay, and she's like, you don't understand. I was 13 when I went to work. I was the youngest one out in the fields. I was not used to getting up at four in the morning. The fields were just muddy. I would just keep accumulating more mud on my shoes, and it was really hard to actually walk down and pick all the weeds up. I had a giant cloud of mosquitoes follow me all day long. My fingernails were covered in blood because I was unprepared. And I thought, well, you know, my father had to do this at one point for us, and I'm gonna do it for us now too. That really has always been my drive for everything I do, just making my father's sacrifice worthwhile. It's just minutes before he left. He said, the only reason you're not coming with me is because I believe in you, and I believe that you can get an education. When I first met Jessica, she was incredibly serious. In fact, she sat in the front row of my class and she made me feel like I need to be delivering, you know, quality instruction because she'll hold me accountable. My freshman year, I was like, okay, this is what colleges are gonna see. This is what my father wants, this is what my mother wants, this is what I need. I decided to take as many challenging courses as I could. Academically, she's sharp. She's taking writing 121 and 122 for Oregon Tech through me. If I grade one of her essays ever, I want more feedback. That's what she says. Tell me what I need to do to make it better next time. If there was one thing that sets her apart from most anyone else I've ever known, it's her drive. Her academic strengths are real, but her drive is out of this world. My freshman year and sophomore year, I was the only girl in robotics. I tried to get my friends to come with me and. They all kind of looked at me and was like, no, that's too hard, girls are too dumb. And I was like, I can't believe you just said that. I'm gonna do this. Everything has to be perfect in order for it to run. And so when I actually succeed, it's, it's an accomplishment and such a feeling that I get from nowhere else but robotics. We made it to nationals and we placed ninth. And that was really, really awesome. One of the people that it impacted the most was actually my sister, because she was seeing me take the robot home and build it and code it and see me prepare for competitions. And so I kind of got her on board and she kind of got her friends on board and we ended up having an all girls team. My love for robotics hopefully will lead me to a career in artificial intelligence. She'll probably be an engineer. I think she'll probably be exceptionally good at it. And I think she'll probably find some way to repay what I think she believes people have given her. She has a lot of tenacity. And in college, when things get hard, she, she absolutely will not give up or quit. There's no choice but to be successful and make her parents proud. I am a very intense person, whether it's in the work I do or sports, it doesn't matter. I try to do it to the best of my ability. My father and my mother made a huge sacrifice, deciding to not move the whole family to Mexico. And that's something that I will forever be grateful for, because it has allowed me to try and succeed and to get a college education.